We would like to know if this series converges or not. Sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, k times 2 over 3 instead of a parentheses raised to the k power. And because the variable right here that we have is in the exponent, let's go ahead and try to use the ratio test. And then before I do the ratio test, let me just clear this a little bit. This is the same as saying sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, I will put down 2 to the k over 3 to the k. And now on the numerator, I have this k right here as well. So let me put down k times 2 to the k altogether on the numerator. And then the denominator is 3 to the k. All right, so this right here will be my a k expression. But then, you know, n and k is the same. To use the ratio test, I had to check the limit as n goes to infinity, as k goes to infinity. All right, let's go ahead and do that. We are going to check as k goes to infinity, and then we are going to put on this expression here, absolute value of a k plus 1 times 1 over a k. Okay, and this is equivalent to this. Right, I'm going to write an expression for a k plus 1 first. So to do that, and by the way, we still have the absolute value, I just look at this expression and change all the k to a, um, change all the k to k plus 1. Here, we will have k plus 1 first times 2 to the k plus 1. On the bottom, we have 3 to the k plus 1. So this right here is the a k plus 1 expression. And now we multiply by the reciprocal of a k. So we just look at this and then flip that. So we will have 3 to the k on the top over k times 2 to the k. And now this is the expression that we have. And then we are going to do some algebra for this. Especially look at the exponents. Especially for this one, 2 to the k plus 1, we can write that as 2 to the k times 2 to the first. Also, 3 to the k plus 1, we write that as 3 to the k times 3 to the first. And when we do that, we can cancel the 3 to the k with this 3 to the k. Also, this 2 to the k cancel with that 2 to the k. So what do we get? On the top, we have 2 to the first right here times the k plus 1. 2 times k plus 1. And on the denominator, we have this 3 right here that's left, and then we have this k. So we have just 3k. And then because everything inside is positive, because k goes from 1 to infinity, and we can just lose the absolute value. The absolute value doesn't matter. And now we can take some limits. Um, up to you if you want to write this down as 2k plus 2 first. Before you take the limit, go ahead and do that. No big deal. No problem on this. And to take the limit as k goes to infinity, on the numerator, we just care about the 2k. On the denominator, we just worry about the 3k. That's the only thing anyways. This approaches to 2k on the top over 3k on the bottom. Well, of course, this will approach to 2 over 3. That's the limit. This is the L. And more importantly, we have to know that 2 over 3 is less than 1. And then that's good because we get to draw a conclusion that the original series converges whenever the L, the limit right here that we got, is less than 1. So I'm just going to write down, we know that my conclusion is going to be when k goes from 1 to infinity, this series, k times 2 over 3 to the k's power right here, this series converges um, because we know the L that we got is less than 1. And we can just quote that by ratio test. So this is the conclusion that we can make. This is it.